Hey guys, uh, we are going out to, to Jerusalem. Uh, we are going to complete the second part that we started, remember? So guys, this is the first time that you visit my channel. Um, my name is uh, Abiel. I am Israel, the super guy. <clears throat> so we are doing a, a video on the history of Jerusalem. So this is the second part. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Smash that like button, ding the bell, and come Yes, guys, so subscribe, do like, share with others, to share, if to care. So I see you then, and let's go to Jerusalem, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back again. So we are in the second part of this video. We started before. If you haven't watched that video, I will encourage you because we have been going around um, the walls of Jerusalem. Now we are in the eastern part of the city. Once again, I remind you to the right is <clears throat> the Mount of Olives. We are passing through um, an Islamic Muslim cemetery. Again, guys, my, if this is the first time that you reach my channel, my name is Aviel Israel, the super guy. Please don't forget to subscribe. And what else? Share, ring the bell. Yeah. And like my comment. Right, exactly. So smash that subscribe button. Do like, share with others to share. Is to care and, and the ring the bell. So guys, what we did in the previous videos, again, we went to Abraham, we went to David and the Babylonians. And where did we stop, guys? We stopped with Alexander the Great conquering the Middle East all the way to India so my my Indian viewers thank you very much for following my channel uh, please let me know in the comments below first of all where are you watching me from do you have questions have you been in Jerusalem You're not about to die. <laughs> right have you been here guy would you like to be here tell me what place would you like to visit if you were here in the whole enough okay or and and what place would you like me to do a video about it okay i know so we continue then so alexander the gay died we know that alexander didn't have children at least legitimate children and his kingdom is divided between his general when it comes to the holy land when it comes to this part of his kingdom the two major ones Actually, to play a huge role over here in the Holy Land are the Seleucids to the north and the Ptolemaids in the south. Okay, so these two empires are fighting each other. Ptolemaids and the Seleucids were more Greek minded, other ones were not so much like that. We know the Ptolemaids were not so much, but the Seleucids, very, very Hellenistic. Yeah. So in 198 BC, the Seleucid will defeat the Ptolemites and will take over okay, what today we call the Holy Land. Okay, they, uh, there were still Jews here, remember, they come back because of Cyrus' declaration. And they were not very keen okay, on Jews. Actually, they didn't, they didn't like the lifestyle. They wanted it to be more Greek oriented, very, like uh, assimilation. But right? basically, what is it? <clears throat> the Greek forbade Jews to do circumcision, which is a ritual, you know, uh, in the eighth day, got the foreskin of, uh, of, of each boy. The study of the Torah, I mean, the, the holy book. <clears throat> and they even sacrificed a pig and the temple guy. That is like, no way. All right, no, no, no. You cannot bring your bacon over here. <laughs> bacon, you can bring bacon to the holy place. So, um, I just found something on the street. I always find something on the street, man. I always do. Cool. So, I just found on the headphones. Earphones. Anyway, so, earphones, right. So, so uh, guys, so the, 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 there is a, 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 a Levite, which is one of the tribes of the, the kingdom of Israel. They were the, they, from the Levites came the priests who were performing ritual in the temple and they said no way we can't tolerate this and they, they opposed them guys okay, they opposed a mighty empire that's a losing empire a bunch of guys who didn't even know how to fire anything well there was no obviously there are no guns at this time period but you know what I mean right and against all odds and after a few decades 
they defeated him. So now, and this priestly family became kings. I mean, they established them. That wasn't the aim. The aim was for freedom, like Judaism. We want to be able to have freedom of religion and to get rid of them, basically. So they, they formed a kingdom. We, historians and archaeologists, we call in this the Hasmonean kingdom. Okay? Priests who became kings. And they ruled for nearly a century, guys. Nearly a century. So, but there's an end to every beginning. <laughs> because at the end, in the first century BC, around the year 63 BC, two brothers, ah, it's always come to family, right? Yeah. But two fathers, two brothers are fighting over the kingship. Who's going to be the king? My dad died, my mom is ruling. Is it going to be you? John Hurricane is the second. Is it going to be you, Aristobulo the second? So Aristobulo goes to the Persian and asks the Persian for help. <laughs> but his other brother was smarter. He goes to Rome to ask for help. And at the end, Pompey comes and he conquers. So no you and no you will be king. All right. <laughs> now, with that, I'm going to start ruling. And that's how this part of the world became part of the Roman Empire. Um, then we will, they will appoint later on, they will appoint Herod the Great. We all call him great for nothing because whatever he did, good or bad, was great. But guys, you cannot come to Jerusalem. I'm sorry, you cannot come to Jerusalem without mentioning Herod the Great. That guy transformed Jerusalem like no other. No before him, no after him. To this very day. <coughs> Whether you like it or not. Because the guy was a little bit... Yeah. You see? <laughs> you see for say that he had about nine wives. And he killed the favorite one. Yeah. That's how he nuts he was. Peter, as a man, despite of his psychological issue, he transformed the city guy. Where today, bless you, where today the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rocket, that's what the, uh, the, the, the Jewish temple used to be, he transformed that area. Guys, at that time period, that platform was the largest man-made structure on the planet. Also, it's more than awesome. <laughs> um, that's why it's artificial. And if, when you come here, and if you've been here, guys, and if you went there, that was artificial. All right? So Herod died. This project continued. The Romans are still ruling. The Romans are ruling. <laughs> They're the man. They're the big boys, guys. With the big gun. <laughs> Just kidding. So, this is a Jewish rebellion. Like the one. A rebellion is when you don't like something, you rebel. You don't rebel against daddy, okay? But sometimes you can throw me a tantrum. So imagine that's a tantrum, okay, a million times more. <laughs> so, the, like the day with the Salusa, they say, enough of the Roman, we don't want Roman anymore. We don't want to go to and that money will go to Rome, no more. So, rebellion began in the year 66. No in Jerusalem, though in a place called Caesarea Maritima, it went all the way to the Galilee, from the Galilee, eventually, come to Jerusalem. And how do we know all of this, guys? Not because we read this in the New Testament, no. The New Testament is not historical book, it's a religious book, it's a theological book. It has a different purpose, a different message. We thank our friend, historian, you see, for Flavius, I will speak also to see for flyers, especially when I go to Mesada. Yes, I know some of you already requested me to, to do Mesada. I will do Mesada. Please, have you been in Mesada? What do you know about Mesada? Please leave it in the comments below, all right? Just let me know. I want to know, guys, what I can do for you. That's the purpose of the channel. 